Now we are visiting lovely Chantilly in France, where we check out local kebab shops and a brilliant historic chateau. We check out the French countryside and enjoy the golden autumn sun. Join us as we tour around magical France. We take in amazing provincial regions. We visit incredible chateaus. We marvel at historic cities. And we explore exotic film locations as we take you on a journey of discovery around this marvelous country so full of wonder, history and warm people. Learn something new in every episode as you join us on this intimate journey around the friends you need to see. We love traveling and recording our adventures. Then in 2020 all our travel plans went on hold as COVID shut down the world. This is our first overseas trip since late 2019. Howdy guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally the day has come and we are in Melbourne Airport. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to believe because this year just has been just like a roller coaster. We just had so many things happening. Oh, and finally we're here after almost three years, two and a half years pretty much, going overseas. And yeah, wish us a safe trip and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. It has been an emotional feeling seeing in airport lounges and boarding flights, passing through familiar transit locations and experiencing that anticipation that comes with overseas travel. Scenes that we take for granted suddenly take on a new meaning. We miss that feeling, that feeling of excitement that comes with visiting new locations or even experiencing familiar places. Looking out the window of a flight, marveling at an incredible sunrise over the Bavarian Alps. Wondering how time flies past so quickly, yet during Covid lockdowns everything seemed so slow and travel but a distant dream. Wondering when we would feel this excitement again. We're in France! Yay! Yay! And it's a sunny, marvelous day today, 21 degrees. Very welcoming. Brilliant blue skies. <laughs> so it looks like it's going to be two days of 21 degrees and then it's going to go down to 17. But we are wrapped away in France, finally in Europe for basically two months short of three years. Incredible. Yeah, Incredible it's hard to believe. Really hard to believe. Just unbelievable. This is going to be a trip that will be unforgettable. Unforgettable. And we're going to bring it all to you. is a sleepy town but for our first day back in France the gentle pace was perfect. We felt the warmth of the sun on our shoulders and it was pure bliss. We were so happy to be back. How do you guys we are on our way to the Chantal? Chateau de Chantilly? Yeah Chateau de Chantilly. And it's a very cute little narrow street in here which is very atmospheric. The whole whole little town here is quite cute, Chantilly. So we are about 250 meters away, guys. Very very close, and thought we'd film this beautiful scenery for you guys. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous around here. Well, we must be getting close. Ah. Uh, park around here, and that's.
that's it. Wow, that's looks incredible. Yep, that's it. People always ask me if I will ever get tired of traveling in Europe. And the simple answer is that I cannot imagine ever being tired of seeing new and old destinations. There is something special, even magical, about the landscape. I feel joy in my soul that it's hard to explain. I could never get tired of this. The original Chateau de Chantilly was built around 1560 and the Montmorency decided to carry out renovation work on the medieval building. The original mansion was destroyed during the French Revolution. Chantilly was entirely rebuilt between 1875 and 1882. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, the smell of the grass and the trees, watching people experience the wonder and the beauty before them, and knowing that you too are part of that journey of discovery. We're back guys, we're at this gorgeous Chateau de Chantilly, as you can see right behind me. Just absolutely stunning day and stunning chateau. What can you wish for, really? Um, we are pretty much short on time uh, because it's like 5 40 or 5 45 and close at 6 pm. So we're not going to be able to go inside, but at least we'll be able to come to this beauty from outside, which is quite heavy. And we are feeling quite exhausted. <laughs> Actually, it's like 1 30 am in the morning in Melbourne and it's 5 30 here. We're feeling pretty, pretty, pretty tired, but it's very exciting. Travel opens up our eyes to worlds beyond our back garden. Travel adds to our collection of memories, and travel memories make us happy. They enrich our soul and inspire us to see the world in a different way. How's it, guys? We are at the Chateau de Chantilly. It's very noisy here because the cars keep coming. So this is Chateau de Chantilly, which is absolutely stunning. And Don't forget to follow me on Instagram on kellanicholas.au where you can stay up to date with my latest photos from our travels overseas and locally. Also smash the like button to this video and subscribe to get notified whenever a new video is online. We really appreciate your support. I mean, just look at this place. Can't you just imagine yourself being here right now? Sometimes you just have to ask yourself what are the most important things you want to do? plan it, work towards it, and all these wonderful places are within your grasp. Traveling takes some effort, but travel is always worth it. We had just arrived in France that morning and we were feeling pretty tired. We didn't have time to rest as we had to gather ourselves to head back into Paris. Still, the golden autumn sun was beautiful as we appreciated the beauty of Chantilly. We regret not having longer to spend here, but no doubt we'll come back again one day, hopefully soon. Remember to like and subscribe. See you all next week. Howdy guys, we're back to you from Paris and just another angle of the Eiffel Tower. The panoramic view behind me. And something amazing is happening actually right at this moment. <laughs> Thank you.
we're back again guys. We're just walking to our car and we saw 